Now these are probably the most affordable haptic gloves on the market right now, bringing virtual and augmented reality to your fingertips. And to be honest, wearing them made me feel like I stepped straight out of the Ready Player One movie. For $249, you can be the proud owner of your own pair of so-called TactCloth DK2s, featuring 12 precise motors that simulate tactile feedback and work with camera-based hand tracking. Today I'm going to give you an inside look at a market that to many is still unknown and tell you how they work and who these are for. So I want to give a huge shout out to Behaptics for sponsoring today's video and inviting me to check out their new gloves at AWE, one of the best and largest tech events in the states where everyone passionate about VR and AR comes together. Of course, next to catching up with friends and doing talks, the real highlights were all the demos shown there, such as the guys who built the original treadmill from the Ready Player One movie. Also a full-on skydiving simulator that has to be one of the most intense experiences ever, shoes that let you walk on the spot taking up almost no space and loads and loads of new AR glasses. Anyways, you may know Behaptics for their lineup of Pro and Air Vests and nowadays officially made for Meta products. Haptic suits that I've praised in the past for making my gaming sessions more immersive. Their wearable accessories upgrade your VR experience by adding vibrations to your chest, back and shoulders. When you get hit in a game, feel the bass of the music or walk through rain in VR, these suits make it physical with dozens of tiny motors buzzing in sync. They work with more than 299 games, including Half-Life Alex, Blade and Sorcery and yes, even Gorilla Tag. Overall, Behaptics has a solid track record of delivering quality products that are used by consumers, enterprises and devs alike. So in this video, I want to zoom in on their gloves specifically, as I think many people don't know they're even selling these. Having tried loads of different haptic gloves in the past, from Manus, Dexter Robotics and Sense Glove, I've definitely become a huge fan of this accessory that can really level up your setup. The ones I mentioned are sadly out of reach for most, as they cost thousands of dollars. Well, these are just $249. The big difference here is that the tact gloves don't need external trackers and are missing FARS or active contact feedback, features that simulate actually touching or holding objects in your hands. In this case, your interactions are rewarded with haptic feedback through 12 delicate haptic actuators, motors that are built into each fingertip and wrist. If you've tried one of their haptic suits, the sensations are quite similar. What does make these stand out from higher end gloves is that they work in sync with the company's haptic vests, their sleeves, foot straps and even their haptic face cover. So you could say you could get somewhat of a full boot suit bundle like Weight Watts in Ready Player One. The gloves come in four sizes, small, medium, large and extra large and three colors, black, charcoal and brown. The inner part can be thrown into the washing machine, which is super useful because trust me, it does get pretty sweaty in there. They connect over Bluetooth and offer about three and a half hours of battery life. Currently, the DK2s uh, support Quest, PlayStation VR and Steam's platform. Games like Synth Riders and Masters of Light can already be used with these gloves as we speak, but the total catalog is still fairly small, which I'll get to soon. Putting them on is uh, easy, you just secure them using the magnetic straps, turn on the main controller and connect them to the headset. They're soft, elastic and comfy to wear, but it doesn't take long to notice that the material is quite isolating. Great for winter, but not so sure about summer. Additionally, they're touchscreen compatible and have anti-slip material built into the fingertips, so things don't slide around. That said, at AWE I got to play a cool demo that was fully running on Quest and combined the gloves with the suit to showcase what level of interactions it can generate. The demo starts with you flying a spaceship that suddenly finds itself in an asteroid field. The goal is to repair your ship and through this process you get introduced to different patterns. Behaptics calls these waveforms of vibrations, running at 11 milliseconds. By pressing a big red button, it was time to start patching things up. The first task was placing my hands on a scanner. Here you feel a subtle rumble that moves up and down, just enough to mimic the laser doing its thing. Even though they only have 12 actuators spread out on your five fingers and wrist console, it still tricks your brain into filling in the gaps, almost like a phantom feeling. 
then my hands transform into these Iron Man-esque gloves that let me safely grab and pull an electric wire. The rumbling gradually slows down or speeds up depending on how hard you pull. It's very satisfying and I was surprised to find there was no limit to how far it could stretch. Once plugged in, I discovered by accident that I could pet my companion as well. And it obviously doesn't simulate the softness of a cat, but getting feedback versus the usual nothing goes a long way. As I had no time to waste, I quickly moved on to turning on the ship's systems. Grabbing this dial made the motors in the fingertips go clockwise too in a stepless fashion. These small details are what makes the hand tracking feel more responsive and easier to use. Shortly after, I grabbed an energy ball that had to be placed into the main computer. It made my wrist rumble mildly, simulating the sense of power in my hands. After getting the lights back on, it was time to move on to the docking bay. I had to fix the boiler and because the bay door opened during the collision, I also had to put on an oxygen mask. I am focusing on the gloves sensations here, but it's worth mentioning that my haptic face cover buzzed for a short moment, almost like the mask getting sucked onto my face. The lever I was going to pull was frozen, so I used my hands to scrape off the ice. The actuators gave off a strong signal that mimicked the resistance of ice not breaking easily. Anyhow, my favorite part was having to remove this sticky green goo. It gave similar feedback to the electric wire, but at a different, heavier pace, trying to simulate mass. After getting rid of it, I briefly got to experience water dripping off my fingers. And depending on where it landed, I could feel it on my individual fingers. And that wrapped up the demo. I don't know how all of this actually fixed the ship, but overall I think it's a great showcase of what the gloves can do. I think the combination of wearing a haptic suit and face cover really add to the experience and empowers the gloves even more. I wouldn't go as far as saying these tact gloves make things feel realistic, but they definitely make hand tracking feel more natural, because your interactions are rewarded with, well, haptic feedback. Since the gloves are snappy and responsive with no noticeable latency, it's easier to perform certain tasks that would otherwise feel like you're just playing air guitar. How many times do you have to press a button or grab something, but don't know when to stop because there's nothing telling you you're already there? That's why certain training scenarios with these tact gloves could be a valuable upgrade. As I said earlier, these feel like great entry level gloves and for developers a solid way to start learning about the potential they can unlock. Currently the amount of supported games is very small. We're talking about 7 plus titles, but that makes total sense as these are more for developers who want to start building. On Behaptics, their website, they clearly state they do not recommend them to regular users as native support is limited, but do invite anyone else to give their SDK a try. Hopefully in the future, we'll see these being utilized more in the gaming space, but for now, they seem to be most useful in the enterprise realm. I think what's nice is that Behaptics offers accessories for all walks of life, and I will make sure all the links to their suits, gloves, and more can be found in the description below. I want to thank you so much for watching, until next time and bye bye for now. See you in the future.